sky was blue and the grass was green and the flowers were yellow and violet. The sun was warm. I closed my eyes and I said a prayer. And I opened my eyes and I saw him. And he was beautiful. Amanda, you got the laundry done yet? Or the cleaning? Or the gardening? No, you haven't. You got the shopping too. Yes, Papa. And this time, get the good beef. Not that putrid grass-fed stuff you got me last time, you hear me? Yes, Papa. Now go do the laundry. First, give me my breakfast. Now go do the laundry. And when you're done with that, clean the tool shed. Yes, I saw him. He was beautiful. What the hell are you talking about? My dream, Papa. It was so sweet last night. This morning I woke up. You don't do as I say. You're never going to wake up again. I won't be home tonight. Or tomorrow if my luck holds. Now get good beef, you hear me? Yes, I saw him. He was beautiful. Closed my eyes again and said another prayer. Oh, please be real. Then I opened my eyes. Need a hand? Try it now. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You're welcome. Can I give you a ride? 
Oh, are you going to Canada or Mexico? Not that I know of, but let me pay you for your trouble. You didn't cause me any trouble. Well, and you wouldn't cause me any if you let me cook for you. You are real, aren't you? <laughs> yeah, I'm real. You're also beautiful. How about some good beef? Sounds good. I could use a good beer first, though. What can I do to help? You can keep me company. Well, I intend to do that, but let me do something else, too. Well, I guess you can clean up the tool shed. Sure. Just hitchhiking around, seeing the country. I never dreamed I'd meet someone like you. I'd always dreamed I'd meet someone like you. No. I dreamed I'd meet you. Well, it's, well, it's getting late. I'll uh, clean the dishes and then I'll go. Leave the dishes. But would you like to stay? Papa won't be home tonight. I'd love to. Do you want to stay with me? Yes. But not right now. I'll stay now. It's a cruel world, Amanda. What can you do but defend yourself? You can love. We can love, Rick. Without any regrets in the morning? I've never had any regrets. I have some. I've done some bad things. That's why I want to go to Canada or Mexico. Maybe work with old folks in a retirement home. Why do you need to go to Canada or Mexico to do that? Because of the bad things I've done here. I'm not a nice boy, Amanda. I'm no Sunday school help the old folks model citizen. I've hurt people bad. What seems bad can sometimes be good. You wouldn't hurt me, would you, Whit? No. No, I don't want to hurt you. This morning, Papa told me if I didn't do what he told me to do, I'd never wake up again. Well, that does seem bad. 
But it wouldn't be. If I never woke up, I'd be near the stream with you. <laughs> Cheaters. Filthy harlot. <clears throat> Go change your clothes. And get my breakfast. Where are you, rapist? Lover, not rapist. I've got a shotgun and a shovel. I see that. But you don't have a corpse. He said horrible things about you, Amanda. And then he tried to kill me. Had to shoot him in self-defense. I shot him in defense of the woman I love. The police will be coming. I gotta go. We'll both need to go. Well, we'll need some money. We have money. Let's keep it safe. Visitors on your farm? There's someone following us. That's Mr. John, our neighbor. I've known him my whole life. He better stop. Hey there, Amanda. Why so fast? Who's this young feller with you? It's my boyfriend. Well now, does your old man know about him? 
Oh, yes. Does he approve? Well, I don't know, you being so young and all, I think I better go have a talk with him. Please don't go, Mr. John. Now, why not? Papa can't talk right now. <laughs> I've never known Edgar to be short on words. I think I better go. Please don't go, Mr. John. That's my car. What the hell do you think you're doing? Well, this is your car. Yeah, that's my car. See, I've got one just like it. I'm always locking the keys inside. Thought this was mine, but this one's yours. You've got the keys. Makes it easier. Oh, good. Corvette. Man and woman inside stopping to investigate. Howdy. Hi. 
We're in the area, we're investigating some local homicides, and we're asking everybody if they have Officer, any... Officer, I'm pregnant. Oh, Yeah, and oh, I'm, I'm having this baby. Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah, we're on the way to the hospital. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, just, oh. just go on, go on, get. Oh, thanks. in Canada or Mexico. You need a little money though. Please stop. Why? I have to pee. there. Got a flat? Yeah, I got a flat. Got a nice car too. Lydia and I were out for a drive and we saw you and I said, hey, we gotta help. I had a vet in college. I thought you had a Plymouth in college. Well, after I sold the vet. Look, we really need to go. Well, Ernest, let's call for help. Darn it all, Lydia, I left my phone at home. Uh, now, Ernest, what have I told you a hundred times before? 
always carry your cell phone with you. Always. You never know when you're going to need it in an emergency, just like now. It's a good job I've got mine. <laughs> Look, we don't need help, okay? We just need to get to the stream. You'll get to it a lot quicker if we call AAA. Call, Lydia. Don't worry about the cost. We'll pay. Remember that time in Sedona we had a flat and we were broke? And that nice little couple came by. Wasn't that in Flagstaff? No, it was in Sedona. In Flagstaff, we had troubles with the muffins. Just get the hell out of here, okay? Wouldn't think of it. I'll call. No, please. Oh, young lady. Get over here, both of you. I ain't messing. On your knees. With his arthritis? Now. We can't let you stop us. We're almost there. are still investigating several homicides in the area, the first of which occurred during the attempted robbery of a local convenience store two days ago. But the police... What's wrong? I'm sad for Ernest and Lydia. Like you're sad for your father and Mr. John Mann and the guy with the Corvette? I'm happy for them. Happy? Why? Everything for them is sweet. Why didn't you make everything sweet for Ernest and Lydia? I don't know. Maybe they reminded me of old folks in a retirement home. Well, I'm sad for the old folks, too. <sighs> Why would that nice young man shoot out the tires? broadcast with breaking news about recent homicides in the area. The police have just released information about two suspects in a stolen vehicle, a late model dark gray Jeep Compass. It's only a matter of time until they find us, convict us, and execute us. There's only one thing to do, one loving thing to do. We have to kill ourselves. Yes. Yes? Yes, 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 we'll end our bitterness. Um. We can leave our things, uh, our clothes, our money, our car. We can leave them. We won't need them anymore. No. We, you and I, we won't. Let me. I want to end my bitterness myself. You do? More than anything in this world. I know how hard it is to end your bitterness. I couldn't end mine in a million years, unless I knew it was the only loving thing to do. 
But I know it is. So I'll do it. After you do it. Yes. I'll do it. Even though it'll be very, very, very hard to do. But I'll do it. Because I love you. And because I love you, I'll end your bitterness first to make everything sweet for you forever. <laughs> Life is bitter. is bitter. The dreams are sweet. And now, they'll be sweet forever. I asked my love to take a walk Take a walk just a little way And as we walked along we talked Of when would be our wedding Well, only say that you'll be mine in no other's arms entwined down beside where the waters flow down by the bank. Ohio 